Finding the target, the 2010 Archery World Cup proved a hit in its host city of Edinburgh. 21-year-old American Brady Ellison took gold in the men's recurve bow event, an Olympic discipline. Ellison, who trains 40 to 50 hours a week, believes he could have a long as well as a bright future ahead of him. I'm young and archery you could shoot forever. I mean, I have teammates that made the Olympics with me that were in their 50s, so hopefully I'll be able to shoot for a long time and make a career out of it. Ellison beat Olympic gold medalist and four times world champion Im Dong Hyun. Fellow Korean Yoon Ok Hee won gold in the women's individual event, while her teammate Ki Bo Bae took the bronze medal. All of them products of Korea's particular focus on archery from a young age. In a school, let's say 10 to 20 kids, which they bring really, they train on a daily basis, and then uh, they, uh, those kids, there's around 1,000 kids in Korea, out of those thousands, they, when they get to 18 years old, they get recruited by what's called company teams. The company teams are professional teams, uh, five archers per team, and there is around 300 of them. And from those 300, it's like the national team. So if you look here in the UK, they have around 10. So the chances of having that uh, number one archer are much higher in Korea because of that system. While the Korean archers couldn't reveal exactly how much they earn as professionals, the fact that a major Korean car manufacturer feels the sport is worth sponsoring is an indication of its popularity there. The same cannot be said for the host country. But despite that, British number one Simon Terry believes UK interest in the sport is growing. you just got to look around and it's, you know, the members are going up um, year on year. And yeah, events like this brings it to the you know to people's mind. You know, not just Robin Hood era. You can see how technical, you know, especially the compound bow. You know how technical it can be. Recurve archery has been an Olympic sport since the 1972 Olympic Games, but World Championships have been held since the early 1930s. It's the traditional form of the sport. Unlike the compound bow, the recurve bow has no system of pulleys, which allows the bow to be relaxed at full draw which means the archer takes the strain. So, how hard can it be to hit the target? Well, practice makes perfect, and so does funding, but that can be hard to come by. Our governing body funds some of the trips for us to represent Great Britain, but not all. Um, so as a compound archer, I have to fund most things myself. The story is no different in Russia, where world champion and gold medal winner in the compound bow event, Albina Loginova, struggles to find backers. It's a pity, but in Russia, sponsorship goes to the other sports, like football or tennis. Actually, it is not so much business sponsoring the sport, it is the Russian Federation that provides us with money. Finding businesses to sponsor the sport is what its governing body, FITA, is focused on. But archery can be a tough sell. The main difficulty is getting through the first step uh, for us. Uh, because, okay, they know about uh, football, they know about athletics, but uh, archery, they don't know what it is. And for instance, we have uh, uh, the, direct, the CFO from Turkish Airlines, who is here, and also uh, the marketing director from Longines, which are two of our sponsors. And when they see it, they're thrilled with it and they're enthusiastic and they, and they want to keep it because they see the potential from a marketing point of view. Not so enthusiastic that they were prepared to talk about their financial commitment to the sport, but Longines marketing director did reveal each stage winner received a watch and that the champion of the men's event would take home a cheque from the company for around 5,000 US dollars. The prize money for the World Cup championships totaled $144,000, the biggest prize money in the sport. Um, we're putting forward uh, 70,000 for, for the event and again it's all about um, sort of building the profile and working with the partners so obviously there's significant investment going in from Edinburgh City Council and UK Sport as well. That investment looked to be paying off as the citizens of Edinburgh queued up to try their arm. Over 450 people had a shot on the first day of the event, most of them new to the sport. 11-year-old David Lister, however, is a member of a club and a huge fan. It's different because they need the other sport because I've always tried different sports but this one I just really like. My brother, he played it before I did so I joined and I really do have good fun. I know all the people there and I'm, I'm really good at it. 
With no age bar and seemingly no handicap too great, it looks as if the ancient sport of archery might well have a long future ahead of it.